guys before you watch this video uh, where I'm going to show you how to split um, one of these single lip cutters from a solid carbide blank. As I said before and made it very clear, try to buy these things already split because uh, especially for half an inch, uh, to, to grind off a, a quarter of an inch of a cutter with a diamond wheel, you're just toasting your grinding wheel and they're so expensive. So spend the extra few bucks and, and plus the time it takes to do it, okay? So um, good advice, believe me. Uh, there are a couple more bucks split but anyways so what happened here is I shot an overhead video as I said before I recorded these uh, about a year and a half ago and I, I have this great video of me showing exactly how to split a cutter from an overhead view well it just ends right before we do the split so um, the good news is I had shot another video from the side doing it so the, the video kind of ends abruptly and we're just going to use that feed knob on the left to take off half the diameter it's pretty simple you know you just touch the cutter on the wheel, as, and that's where the kind of the video ends. And then it, the next video it doesn't show the levers, but you'll see me doing it, and you'll also see me measuring it to get, get the split right. So um, sorry for the confusion there, but uh, that's all you need to know before you watch this video. Is it split into two spots? And if you have any questions, just email me. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, start splitting a cutter. Okay, now what we're going to do is use this knob on the left, which is going to as I turn it um, clockwise is going to push the cutter into the wheel okay the second knob we're going to use is this one down here now what this knob does is controls how far in this cutter will go so we screw it in see it's backing it off so this controls how far uh, the length of the slit will be on the cutter okay so we're going to go for about a half an inch here into the wheel okay so let's recap here cutter is tight it's indexed so it can't turn we're going to use this knob to move the cutter blank back and forth into the wheel to split it and this knob here is going to control how far in it goes you can see I'm backing it off or moving it in okay so then we would turn on the grinding wheel this is a big tip here now watch this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in using this knob on the left and slowly bring it in until I hear it hit the wheel there it is okay this is a 3 16 cutter blank so we need to move it in half that to split it so what we want to do is uh, dial in uh, 093 and a half or so. Okay, so in the second part of the video now, the camera's set up from the side. So I'm doing all the same things I was doing from the, the uh, overhead shot, but this will show you a little bit from the side view. So as normal with many of the things I work on, I like to put a little dicum on there so I can see uh, my progress here. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to use the lever that or the knob I've talked to you about in the first part of the video. I'm going to slowly touch the side of the wheel and then lock the two. You can't see it right now, but with my left hand I'm setting my dial to zero. Unlock the tube. Now I can swing it up and begin feeding the whole carousel into my wheel about a thousandth at a time. And this is a uh, 3 16 cutter blank. And I need to um, take that down to obviously I need to take about uh, 93 thousandths off at 93 and a half so you'll see here I've, I've sped up the video a little bit so it's a little boring watching the single back and forth it should also be noted that I've got uh, my right hand on that is uh, pushing the whole um, carousel or the, the, uh, the cutter to a, a counterclock or I'm sorry a clockwise stop and you can see it I, see I push it right back up it's a stop. We'll just keep going here. And you can see when I stop to check it, you'll notice that it slightly swings to uh, a, a, a slight counter uh, clockwise position. Watch this. See how it just moves out of the way? That's because it's not locked. And I'll show you why that, uh, at the end of the video, what we're doing here. So again, I'm creeping up on my split here. Again, using the feed knob on the left, 
Dialing it over a power, so I'm obviously getting close because I'm checking it more. Yeah, I can't read those mics. Yeah, I believe that's an eighth inch piece of cutter stock, and I'm only taking them off. It should read 062. If I can see those mics, and I'm at uh, about 60, about 66 maybe, 64, 65,000, so I need to get the down to 62, 63. I guess I'm happy with it. All right, so now it's time to relieve the cut. And what I'm going to do is loosen up my collar. So the cutter blank is now loose, and I'm going to bring up this little alignment tool. It's built into the grinder. Pinch them together, and it should be noted that the red dot is in the window. We talked about that in the previous video. Now I'm going to put the indexer to its left position, so the tool can only uh, rotate. 90 or 180 degrees. Now I'm going to slowly, again using my feed knob on the left, bring this in until I just touch it. And this is how we're going to start relieving the entire cutter. And I just want to leave a little bit of red on there. That'll be my cutting edge. See, I'm checking it out. Slowly bringing it in until I just leave a little red. And that's that 25 degree angle I told you to set this thing on. And that's why you just leave it at 25 degrees. It's like I never had to take it off at 25 degrees. That's your relief angle. And now I'm just spinning the cutter around and relieving the whole thing. Now we rotate it uh, counterclockwise. And this is a bonus for you. You don't know how to do this yet, but it doesn't hurt to watch it a couple times. I'll explain what I'm doing. So you can see there, I am bringing the, uh, the rotated, and that's time to sharpen the end. And I believe on this uh, mill or this single look cutter, I'm putting an 8 thousandths radius on the tip. And there I am swinging the radius off. And that radius is set with a formula. You'll learn all that. But I wanted to just, I figured I'd keep this rolling just so you could see the process of grinding a cut. So that's completed. And um, here's a little drawing of, if you can follow that, that's my 25 degree angle that, go, that gives me my cutting edge. That's the actual end mill or cutter that we just did, eighth inch diameter. That's what the um, relief looks like on the side. And that's what it looks like in a comparator. And there's my 8,000 radius in the left corner, upper left corner. See you in the next video.